Hello everyone and welcome back to Broken Sword 5. I'm Exorf and uh, we are still here in the gallery in Paris uh, trying to get into this place. Uh, now I believe George wanted us to cause a distraction. Uh, well, let's talk to him a bit. Josh? Yeah, Nico. So why do you need to get into the office again? I'm pretty sure the robbery was an inside job, and I think the proof is in the office. So what's stopping you? Super cop over there. What if I create a distraction? You do that, and I will let you have whatever I find. That's a deal, Josh. Somehow, I had to get the inspector away from the office door. Seems doable. Um, so, I think there's an option that I want to turn on, actually. Um, namely, not that. I want to see how the classic text looks. Um, I liked it, but not enough to buy it. Yeah. Let's uh I couldn't use this painting to distract Inspector Nave. Not without getting into more trouble anyway. Uh yeah, I'm definitely keeping this uh more classic um classic textile. It was the alarm for the painting that had been stolen. And we can't do anything with that. The bust was striking. I was thinking maybe we would use the bust. Like, break it down, but I don't see how that would cause a distraction. Nice use of color. I liked it. Okay, so this, that's the generic comments on uh, um, on all the paintings, I guess. I'd never met the gallery owner before, but he sure didn't deserve this. Let's have a chat with Nave. Inspector Nave, do you have a moment? My time is of the essence. Be quick now. It's so weird that like, okay, it's unacceptable that you come in here, but now that you're in here, whatever. <laughs> Not gonna kick you out or anything. I suppose this is quite a complex case, Inspector. It is a robbery gone bad. Nothing more, nothing less. Surely there's a bit more to it than that. Please abstain from baseless conjecture, madame. The victim's body paints a simple picture, more reliable than any witness statement. Consider the impact of the bullet and note the concomitant lack of blood. A casual homicide, nothing more. Don't you find it odd that the thief chose that one particular painting? Life is full of odd things, madame. Fingerless gloves, white dog poo poo, nasal hair. <laughs> I prefer to concern myself with murder. Yeah, that seems like related to murder though, so... Did you see the alarm was sabotaged? I have interrogated the crime scene, madame. I am fully aware of the disabled security. I prefer biological evidence to the merely circumstantial. Body parts, blood, important things. Don't you think the disabled alarm is highly suspicious, though? The forensic team will be along shortly. Voice your concerns to them. Do not bother me with this circumstantial flip-flap. You seem kind of overly uh, concerned with, uh, with body parts and blood. Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. It is the body which concerns me. But the CCTV footage is evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, madame. It is but an indicator. The only true evidence <laughs> is bodily fluid. Unless you know something I don't, then please leave me be. The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to appreciate involved gore. Yeah. 
we'll uh, see if we can get some gore somehow, I guess. What do you think about the American, George? He is deeply suspicious. He said without moving his lips. Could you give me a statement, Inspector? Now is not the time, madame. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. And the bloodier, the better. Um. All right. It it feels like you're like heading out into weird deep waters that that you might not want to head out into. <laughs> like all of this because I want the story and he wants to um do his job as an insurance person for the gallery. So we're going to like ruin this crime scene and uh yeah, mess up the the pol uh, police's job. <laughs> Makes sense. Weird. At least now the place was a little tidier. <laughs> At least now the place was a little tidier. I guess uh, the idea is that George is a mess. <laughs> All right. Let's see what. Uh... Oh, that's cool. It was clearly old, but still in good condition. Can I do something with it? The gallery was already a mess. I didn't feel like tearing the poster down. Weird that they would give me that icon then, though. Do we have anyone we can call? I still had nothing new to tell Ronnie. I was going to have to do some investigating of my own. Yeah, might want to do that first, I guess. Oh, tomato stain. The tomato sauce had splattered on the floor. No way was I going to clean that up with my bare hands. <laughs> so the chewing gum actually did uh, mean something. It was a blob of chewing gum, probably carried in on somebody's shoe. I spread some of this sauce around <laughs> with my shoe. It looked a little bit like a blood stain, but it still wasn't right. If I was going to distract the cop, I had to get rid of that gun. The tomato sauce looked as close to blood as it was ever going to. Okay, the guess uh, real mess. Guess that's kind of okay. He'll probably he'll probably realize fairly quickly that it's uh, t tomato stain and uh, and not blood. Excuse me, father. Father Simeon, my child. Are you okay, Father? It's a terrible shock, but yes, I'm fine, thank you. Could I ask you some questions about the crime? What kind of questions? I'm a reporter for La Liberté. I suppose it cannot hurt. Please ask away. Am I imagining things, or is he a lot, like, more normal when talking to Nico? Why did you come to the gallery today, Father? God brought me here. I saw the poster for the exhibition. I had to come. What do you mean? I knew there was great evil okay. in La Maybe not. It was my duty to confront it. The painter was El Serp, the serpent, don't you see? Evil? So what were you planning on doing here today? I wanted to bear witness to anything that the devil would conjure. Well, I think it was a no-show, Father. Really? A man is dead, Miss Collard. I'd say his work here today is done. That wasn't going to help my story. Did you see anything that might help identify the killer? The devil takes many forms, child. I didn't get a good enough look, I'm afraid. Anything would help. I am sorry, my dear. My mind was elsewhere. <laughs> I don't know if there is too much to get a good look off since he had that helmet on. And I mean, didn't you see him as well? Both you and George? <laughs> what do you know about Henri? 
an innocent victim, insofar as any of us are innocent. If he was peddling such blasphemous works as the Elsa painting, then who knows what other sins he was hiding. Father Simeon was making me feel guilty. Priests always did that to me. What have you done, Nico? What do you think about that stain? Is that blood? I think it's just sauce. I wonder if there's a mop anywhere. We are facing death and divine retribution. This is no time for tidying up. <laughs> Father Simeon wasn't making much sense. <laughs> you mean like this is totally the time to be tidying up? What can you tell me about the painting? Grotesque and evil. How can a painting be evil? By killing all who come into contact with it. Does that mean we're next? Laugh not at the devil's play, Miss Collard. I mean, we haven't come in contact with it. It would be the killer that would uh, die next then, I guess. This is my press card. As I said, I work for La Liberté. Good. Be sure to warn your readers that this painting is evil. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Father. So, um... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if that's the... The priest had nothing useful to offer. The serpent's curse. Uh, that anyone who gets in contact with the... Um, with the painting dies. Hmm. We probably need some sort of item to get rid of the... Um, the bubble gum there. Are you Hetelaine, the art critic? Enchanté, madame. And which of the angels are you? Your, your mouth isn't moving. A reporter. It's really weird. Ah, of course. It's really, really weird. Then, my favorite sword. Why, why do you not have any lip sync? <laughs> um. All right. What can you tell me about the painting that was taken? It was called La Maledicio, an unknown work that only recently surfaced. Who was the artist? A mysterious figure known only as El Serp. Some say he was a student of Picasso. He was good, but not great. And his true identity remains unknown. You have to say the painting doesn't look all that good. <laughs> uh, it looked a bit like messy. Like, it, it looked very um, gameplay focused, <laughs> like, like something that I'll look at and get clues to my, um, to, on what to do uh, in the, in my adventure. Which I guess it's kind of how it was in Broken Sword 1 as well. You got a uh, manuscript with a bunch of, like, little clues. I don't remember how it looked, though. I don't remember if it looked so, uh, quite as... Um, constructed for the game as this one what can you tell me about the theft oh it was truly awful what do you want to know uh anything you can tell me have you spoken to george the american yes he promised to clear up any misunderstandings the police might have about my presence now you have uh, lip syncing <laughs> that's weird Father Simeon says that the painting is evil. The priest is a lunatic. La Maledicio is a painting, and a painting cannot be evil. I wonder what Maledicio means. I mean, I know that mal means bad in a couple of lang languages, so... Maybe that actually like means something about evil. What can you tell me about Henri's involvement with the gallery? Dear Henri, a shining diamond in the ordure that is the modern art business. He owned the gallery. What will we do without him? You don't seem like that concerned, really. Tell me about the shooting, monsieur. No, it all happened so fast. Take your time. What did you see? I can't be sure. Perhaps I could answer your questions over dinner. I'm sorry, monsieur. I'm on a tight deadline. Did you see the thief? 
I would have tackled him, but he was too quick for me. Um, yeah, so maybe it was just a bug that it didn't uh, move his lips before. Did you know that the alarm had been sabotaged? No, how dreadful. I suppose that's why the alarm isn't ringing. Yeah, that would make sense. Here's my press card. And there was I thinking you were too young and beautiful to be a reporter. Thanks for your help, Monsieur Lane. I wasn't going to get anything useful from Lane. No, obviously not. Drawing attention to myself would be a bad idea. I, I think you've already drawn attention to yourself. <laughs> mm, oh, we got a lot more to talk about now. Or maybe this is all going to be... The same stuff all over again. Do you really think this is a cut and dried case? En effet, cut, dried, sealed, and delivered. Do you know anything about La Maledictio? It is a painting. It was stolen. Point. I don't know. Are you certain you don't want to investigate the alarm? Unless you can show me new evidence, then please leave me to my work. Maybe we should put some tomato sauce on the alarm. So you don't think the CCTV footage is useful? I prefer a more visceral approach to the crime scene. So you think George is a suspect? As I said, I am not often wrong about such things, but hmm, I have already said too much. I mean, you have a witness right here, so... <laughs> Though I guess he fainted, so... Maybe he's not a very reliable witness. Are you sure you don't want to say anything? Please, keep your little card away from me. Okay, we're just repeating stuff. Have you seen that stain on the floor by the door? What do you think it is? I don't have time to waste discussing domestic hygiene. Please, leave me to my work. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let maybe you know that's a bit else. stupid, really. Like, how on earth? Oh, maybe I just need to use my uh, my card to get rid of the uh, the bubblegum. Isn't it a bit stupid to, of me to draw attention to it before it actually looks like gore? Let's try this. Could be. I scraped up the chewing gum with my press card, hoping the inspector wouldn't notice. All right, that's simple enough. <laughs> that's great. Now I have a disgusting. The gum was well chewed, and still is sticky. I'll probably have to use that at some point, won't I? <laughs> um. My smartphone, possibly the general. Uh, I think we already got that once. Um. So is there anything else we need to do? Or can we actually just point him to the blood now? Inspector. Yes? Yeah, it's a blood stain. Can we do this now? You want this chewing gum? <laughs> Madame, I do not take bribes. Have you yeah. seen the stain on the floor over there? It looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. Yeah. I must when I last looked at it, it didn't. Before one of these idiots steps in it. Right. That was a very simple puzzle. I kind of over overthunk it, over Interesting. It, overthought it. Time to employ the machine. Okay. Okay, George. That should distract him for a while. Nice work, Nico. I'll let you know what I find in the office. So now you actually remember. I was sure the inspector hadn't seen me slip away, but I needed to be quick because it wouldn't take him long. All right. Um, so we gotta be quick about it. Or so he said at least. What the hell is that statue? <laughs> It was a statue of Henri bearing almost everything. Oh, that actually is Henri. Protected his modesty. 
Uh, I gotta say that that doesn't even look too much like a leaf. <laughs> uh, that looks like something else. Can we do something to it. The statue was jaunty, up close and personal. I could see that the fig leaf was hinged. Uh. Thankfully, there was no one around to see me do this. Very interesting. <laughs> Very intricate. Why? No, no, I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> okay, I guess we need to figure I out a way to get in there. Key. I was fairly sure that even Henri wouldn't be silly enough to keep it hidden in the office. Really? So... We need to leave, or do, do we have it by accident? Is it nail clippers? Now that was a safe. No way I'd be able to pick it. <laughs> no. I don't suspect as much. Can we just leave then? Because otherwise, how will we get the key? The street was quiet. The poster advertised a 1975 Stockholm Music Festival, headlined by a group called... The Hairy Lobsters. Sure. That sounds like an actual thing. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. Oh. It closed, it closed automatically. Um. I didn't like the idea of a pocket full of sharp pins. Oh, you don't like the idea of that. <laughs> Like, yeah, I like the idea of having a pocket full of pizza, but not uh, sharp the pins. was corroded and grimy. It'd probably never work again. I decided to leave it. <laughs> I love how silly it is with, like, how he chooses some things to bring and some not. Useful. Then again, it might have leaked all over my pocket. And pizza wouldn't? Oh my god. I didn't need a business card. What do you need? I didn't want to carry the tape around. I had a feeling I wasn't going to need it. <laughs> oh, this is so arbitrary. It was the paper that Nico wrote for. Nico lived for the day her story would be on the front cover. The switch controlled the small desk lamp. I didn't feel the need to take Henri's eraser. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I've, while I kind of like the, uh, the arbitrariness of, of this... There's still something about it, like just putting a whole lot of carrying an ink pot around inside my pocket would have been stupid. The ink would have stained my hands for days. <laughs> like just putting a whole lot of things that you might be able to pick up, and then not letting you pick up it for because George doesn't feel like it. It's kind of weird. Though I suppose else in the, drawer. the idea could be that I mean maybe that's the joke. The folder looked interesting. This was very definitely tampering with evidence. Or maybe I need to use this stuff in order to tamper with the evidence. It was a completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They weren't the guys we'd recommended. Henri had gone behind our backs to choose a different security outfit. Huh. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address in front of the Thank you.